Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. I wanted to hop on here and share a project that I've been working on. Oh, I'm so happy that I got it done too. Um, so this is going to be my October daily for this year. And I followed a class through Paige Evans. She had an October daily um, virtual class. So I'll link her website down below. Go check it out because it is a fun class and I had a lot of fun making it and the collection that I use to make my October daily is the cute doodle bug sweet and spooky now I did a flip through um, a haul video for this collection and I'll link that video down below if you'd like to catch it I am so happy that I used this collection it is so cute I use a majority of the 6x6 papers so I still have lots of the 12x12 left over lots of the stickers left over and the ephemera so with this October daily it's the foundations pa uh, pages that you'll be uh, that her class was um, excuse me that Paige Evans class was based on you just get your foundation pages done and then when you want to document your events during the month of October that's when I'll pull this out and use the, the ephemera pieces and whatever bits and bobs that I have left over here to embellish the pages as I go. But I am really ecstatic that I got the foundation papers and this class done. Because usually when I do an October daily, I kind of um, go with the flow. Like I'll do a couple of days in a row from scratch. But now... All the foundation papers are done and they're in this cute little 4x4 mini album. I've never done a 4x4 before so this was really really fun to do. Uh, the mini album here, I purchased this from Paper Crafters Workshop in Stouffville and uh, I purchased two of them because I had another, I think I wanted to do another class or something. Anyways, they were in my stash and that's what I used and it's the teal covered one which is fine with me and I went well with the papers and I'm really happy. So in the class we um, she showed us how to do these rosettes so I made the rosettes here on the front super cute and then I used the stickers to embellish the centers love the Frankensteins I think they're so cute. There is twine here. I still have to do a dangle charm. I'm just not in the mood to do dangles at the moment, but I wanted to share the project. As soon as I've done the dangle, I will uh, share that in another video. I was just not in the mood. Like I picked these up today at Michael's because they were 60% off these pump pumpkin ones. I really like this one. So I'll make some dangles with other charms that I have in my stash. And I will share that in another video. But anyhow. Here is the cover, and then here is the spine. It says October, short form, in 2023 on the ghosty. Let me open her up. There's the front cover. Um, she was selling a kit, and uh, the kit contained different pieces, and what in the front cover was an acetate, so I used an acetate that I had in my stash. And here is my uh, title page of my mini album. It says Trick or Treat. The little ghosty here says 2023. And I embellished it with some stickers that I have in my stash, as well as these puffy stickers that were given to me by Sophia at Paper Sweets. Hi, Sophia, if you're watching. So these were gifted to me, and I still have them in my stash, and I thought they went well with the cover page. And then on the back of the page, I did put... Um, a die cut of the house and best night ever and then here's another sort of title page this one is used um, there's paste on the page I don't know if you can see it it's white stars and dots um, Paige Evans was selling a stencil for her class but I used a stencil that was in my stash and it says October 31st some enamel dots some puffy sticker and an acetate ghost and pretty much every page has some sort of trim on it. And then on the back, I know this has like the journaling bits, which I can journal and I can still add photos to it. This one is just a shaker page. I could add a photo on the top here. 
she was selling um, four by four uh, pages, like two inch, two inch, two inch pockets. I didn't have any of those, so I kind of tried to make my own. So I could add a photo there, and there's some shaker bits there as well. I left all the thread because they look pretty spooky. And then there's the cute little die cuts that I added. Also, um, she was selling a, a die to make this big spider web. So what I did is I went on Cricut Design Space and I found this in my um, in Design Space. So I cut it out and then I added for texture this spider web doily that was in my stash. And then I added some spiders and another acetate spider web there just to embellish. Then I could add a photo back here when time comes. Again, these are just base pages that you learn in her class. And I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun. Here we made like a snowflake ghost. It was really, really cute. I thought I had fun. It was different, something different, right? And I had a lot of fun in the class. Here, there's a four by four here, the sweet life. And then here I added a tag. I could add a photo here and just a fun tag to embellish. Here I did a, um, a cut file of one of her candy corn wreaths. She did a different type of wreath in her class, so but I, I wasn't really crazy about the moths. That she, I didn't have moth paper. She has a moth wreath. So I had this uh, in my Cricut design space, so I cut it out. And I have to admit, when I was um, working on this project, every time I saw Paige Evans do a flip through of her um, October daily, I thought it was pretty neat that she did little cut files. And this is the first for me, and I really had fun. It was, and it's different, and I really like it. And I will do this again. So there's this page, I could add a photo here. Here there's another die cut, um, cut files. She also, with the class, it was included some cut files as well. And this is one of the cut files. So I paper pieced the pumpkin here. Could I add photos here. Um, here in Canada, our Thanksgiving is in October. This year, it is October 9th, I believe. Monday, October 9th is our Thanksgiving. So I did a die cut or a cut file of um, Thanksgiving. This is also one of her cut files. And I added it here so then I could document our Thanksgiving here in Canada. Super fun, isn't it? Like this collection is so cute. On this page, it was really fun too. We did the word boo. So there's a little flip out here. And so we did like a quilt pattern. That was fun and different. I've never done anything like that before. And then also look at that. It's fun, right? And as, uh, not acetate, excuse me, a vellum ghost. I thought that was fun. In some of the pages that she did in her class, I had to substitute because I didn't have the Two by two pocket pages so for one of them i just did this i just added some of the cut aparts just a nice embellished page and i could add photos on the back here's another cut file that was included in the class and this one is a cute shaker of a cauldron this one was really fun to do i love this one and this is another cut file that was included in the class just to add, it's very dainty, and it's just to add some fun and texture to your album. Oh, this is cute too. This was a cut file as well. Look, a little coffin. Ain't that cute? And so I thought, okay, I'll add the um, vampire uh, icon sticker here. I thought it was so cute and so different. And in here I could do some journaling. This is just one of the tag pages. I think I was substituting one of the pages that she was doing that I didn't have the um, the uh, plastic sleeve for, so I just substituted with something else. And then I was trying to do some stitching, but as you can see, my machine was gumming up a bit. But you know what? It added some texture and a little bit of spookiness. And speaking of spooky, here's another cut file that was included in the class. That was really fun. And I added some pom-pom trim here. Another fun page. Thought it was really cute. 
This is just a cut file that was in my uh, design space. I think it's one of her cut files as well that I just wanted to add in here because I was doing a bunch of little cut files. This one says Hocus Pocus. I don't know if you can really see that. But yeah, it says Hocus Pocus on there. Just thought it would add some fun. Another page just for fun. I think I was substituting another one. But again, really fun and cute. Use some stickers. This one was a little tricky. I'm not really, um, I don't think you could see it too well. This it's black cardstock and purple thread. Um, this was a cut file of a stitch pumpkin and you're supposed to add sequins in there. I don't have patience for that. <laughs> Some people like, they, it looks beautiful when people do stitching on their like hand stitching on their layouts and such. I just don't have patience for it. Like kudos to the people who can do it. I'm not one of them, but I did try it out. I like it, but maybe I should have used a different paper or something. But anyhow, it turned out all right. I went, I went with the flow, right? Here's another four by four uh, cut apart. This was fun too. This is um, a bookshelf page. Oh, I had fun with this because you used up a little, a bunch of little papers. It's super cute. I used a Grim Reaper up there. There's a little spider dangling. Just thought it was fun and cute. Again, that she showed you how to do each page um, in the class. This one, I did something a little different. I added the tag page and then I added thread on the top just to add, just to be, you know, do something different. This is another cut file that we did that was included in the class and it's the witch's boot and there's a dangling little star there. This was fun too, it was different. I like the way it says Halloween. Again, like I said, these are the foundation pages, right? So come in October when I document, they're ready to go. Super fun. Here's another cut file that was included in the class. It's a haunted house. Oh yes, this page is just a substitute as well. She, like I said, I'm not, a, I don't really care or have the patience for stitching on, um, on paper, like hand stitching. So this page is supposed to substitute Happy Halloween and she backstitched or something like that. So what I did is I just did a cut file Stuck it on this pretty paper and added some embellishments and some trim on the end. Even in her class, there was, she added a bag with some tags in it, so I did the same thing. On the back here, I added two little skeleton. And then on the final page, she showed you how to do this little scene. And so hers is different because she used a different collection, but so I had fun with this one too, making this scene of little hills and houses and these cute little icon stickers are just top notch and that is it and then i have a spare um four by four sleeve that i could use for anything else that i want to do and that's it that's it for my little walkthrough of my uh october daily using Doodlebug Sweet and Spooky Collection and following Paige Evans' Halloween, um, Halloween October Daily class. And I've really had a lot of fun and now I'm all set to document my October adventures, which would be probably most likely in the arena with two kids in hockey. That's all right, I'm still gonna document regardless. Well, that's my project share for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys don't mind, hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome as well. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.